To work a 1 over 1 RPC or right purl cross, we're going to do the following. We know we're working over the next two stitches since this is a 1 over 1 RPC and 1 plus 1 equals 2. That's the trick I, I always like to use for knowing how many stitches to work my cables or crossed stitches over. Next, we need to grab our cable needle and pluck that first stitch off of our left hand needle. And since this is a right leaning cable or cross, we need to let that hang, that needle hang at the back. Next, we're going to knit the next stitch in our needle, being careful not to let our working yarn get tangled up with that cable needle at the back. So it should go between the left hand needle and the cable needle to work the next stitch. Then what we're going to do is grab our cable needle and put that stitch that's hanging at the back on our left hand needle. Um, I did a little bit of juggling there because I wanted to make sure I wasn't twisting my stitch as I put it back on the left hand needle. Then we'll bring our working yarn to the front of everything in our work so that working yarn should be going between that stitch we just knit and the stitch we placed on our left hand needle. What we're gonna do next is purl that stitch to finish our one over one RPC. So we know we've done it right when we see the stitch, the knit stitch leading to the right and a purl bump in that next stitch. So I'm gonna knit one more stitch just for a little buffer and then we're ready to work our one over one right purl cross. We'll grab this cable needle and let that first stitch hang at the back and then bringing the working yarn between the cable needle and the left hand needle, we're gonna knit the next stitch. Then being careful not to twist anything around, we will place the stitch from our cable needle back onto our left hand needle and then purl it to complete our one over one RPC right there. <laughs>